Hello and welcome to another Scardcast Crusade Battle Report. Today, the forces of the new Necrons face off against the Drukhari across this ancient and forgotten landscape. Let's dive in to the battle. The Dark Kid. Beyond the Veil is the mission pack we are using. The new Necrons make an appearance with their brand new Codex. John the Cron is here. He's brought his Crusade Force. Let's see how the Necrons fare with all their new cool rules packed together. Okay, so first things first, we're selecting the battle size. We're playing an incursion level of 45 power level. Um, we're going to determine the mission. So it is an incursion size mission with 45 power level. John, do the honors. Wow. We are playing the secret mission of Doom. Number five, which just happens to be uh, Dominate the Field. This is our incursion size, dominate the field. Somewhere in this area is an answer to the strange phenomena we have observed. Master your own fear and that of your forces to show them that neither these insubstantial terrors nor the enemy have any right to the truths contained on this battlefield. Players can reroll failed combat attrition tests for models while they're within six inches of a friendly character. Nice, so it keeps them alive, uh, around longer. And other than that, we've got uh, holding objective markers at the end of um, player turn. So it's end of player turn scoring instead of battle round scoring. And then we have an end game objective as well. You can get a whole bunch of points. And the victor bonus, you can select a unit to gain a battle honor if you win, which is pretty cool. And that's our deployment. Awesome. So now, in the Beyond the Veil, we determine the theater of war effects. Ooh. D First, we roll a d3 for the strategic setback. Oh, oh! What is it? Number three, which is deferred reinforcements. That's the one we had last time. So reinforcements can't come in on, until the third battle round and cannot be within 12. <laughs> okay, and let's roll for the... We both agree there are going to be afflictions on this battlefield. Let's what see. What the glorious Scarry Dice say today? Oh, Scarry Dice says a one, which is smothering silence. Hmm. Seems like a very quiet place to battle today. Subtract one from psychic tests and deny the witch tests. No perils of the war suffered. I don't think you care. I don't think you care. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so the affliction is not really an affliction for either of our sides after all. Step five, muster your armies. Now, it's cool to understand that you determine what the crazy effects are before you muster your armies. So you can sort of build an army that doesn't get completely destroyed by the effects of the bad stuff that happens. So now we're going to muster our army secretly. And then we get to basically put our armies out and select our agendas, etc. So 45 power level. Let's take a look at the armies. And here we have 45 power level of Drukhari Crusade. I'm very excited because it's the first time I get to use two detachments, which means the witch cults have come up to play. I'll get to that in a second. But we have Darkness, the Ravager. You saw it get a couple of battle honors and even a battle scar. You have Sting and Razor. You have Satiated Vengeance. You have the Incubi, which, uh, of course, are the Deathly Killers. They also have a Battle Scar, I believe. I think they took a Battle Scar as well. Um, then we have Archon Scarry himself. Fisk, the Beast, who also has a Battle Scar. <laughs> <laughs> and then I get to use the Witch Cults, which I haven't used. S. Farah is making an appearance. I did spend a a Crusade point, a Requisition point, basically to give her Warlord trait. She has a 3 plus in Vulnerable Save, being a Cult of the Red Grief. Ten Witches. Let's see, they have a story to tell still. Two Hydra Gauntlets. And, of course, the Shardnet and Impaler. And then three Reaver Jet Bikes, or Crimson Rush, with a Sergeant and, of course, a Heat Lance in the squad as well. And there you have it, 45 power level. Of Drukhari. Let's see what the Necrons, the ancient menace, have cooked up from beyond the veil. 
And here we have 45 power level of Necrons. This is, of course, using the brand new Necron Codex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> John Necron is super excited. <laughs> so I'm going to let him uh, tell you exactly uh, what has changed or what has affected his crusade. Oh, so we've seen this list or something very similar to it before, but you haven't because we've been given the blessings of the new Codex. All right. So our 20 warrior squad has upgraded since last time. They've received a third battle honor. They are heroic. Um, the Lich Guard, the Infinite Guard, they have received an extra attack and they have their two battle honors as well. Um, we have our Canoptic Stalker, the Reanimator. So it is, it has gone up in power level. But it's reanimator beam. You guys are going to love seeing how this new reanimation works. Um, we have Torquel the Crypt Tech. He is now officially a Technomancer. With the changes to reanimation, he gets rights of reanimation, which is going to keep that blob nice and frosty. Um, we have our Royal Warden, Tenebrek. He is first time on the channel, I believe. So he is going, he's a Royal Warden, and he has some really cool abilities, as well as the Veil, which thankfully has not changed. Uh, good old Vacuous. He's standing there, he still has his Res Orb, which is the Orb of Eternity, the Relic, has not changed from the book, and a War Sign. We have the Crypto Thrust, the Swarm. If you've never seen these before, they are amazing. We will be, uh, Throwing them at some incubi probably today. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We have the Phalanx, who are now toughness five with a 30 inch gun. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you are looking forward to it too. What sort of shenanigans will ensue as we fight to crush our enemies? Let's begin. The objectives have been placed, one on the corner of the two deployment zones. So the deployment zones basically come up. They're like a little, like a little bubble like that. And we are going to be fighting. My agendas are going to be first into the fray, of course. And I am going to go for survivor because I feel that um, I'm going to pick a unit and try to keep it alive for the whole game because they have to go back and tell the tale of horror that they have seen today. <laughs> the Necrons have picked Territorial Imperative, which is their own category of agendas. Basically, it's an action that they can do to uh, next to object, uh, objectives that are not wholly within the deployment zone. These are not wholly within the deployment zone. So you can do it. So one unit per turn can basically get an experience point like every turn just for doing an action or and for killing a unit that's within three inches of an objective marker, like an enemy unit. So he's like, no, objectives, my my. Like that's, <laughs> that's the whole point. And what's your second one, John? Sentinel. Sentinel. Ooh, is that one from the book? It is. At the beginning of the command phase, I nominate, or the first command phase, I nominate a unit in my army and I nominate a objective. If I control the objective with that unit at the end of the game, I get four experience. Very cool. I love it. Okay, so with that, let's dive into deployment. And here we are after deployment across this very dense landscape here. We've got the Necron Warriors, the, stalk, the big reanimator over here, the Immortals, the uh, Little Thralls, the Techno, the techno Monster, Correct. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. Warden, the Lord, the Lich Guard, with the Immortals. And that's that. All right. There we have it. And over here, which is Succubus, the Beast, back here, Argos Gari, next to his Incubi and a Venom, uh, the Ravager with triple disintegrators, the Reaver Jet Bikes, Fisk, the Slith, and the Ten Cablite Warriors. Of course, she has plus one strength. The Witches in the Raider have plus two inches of movement, and the Bikes have plus one toughness. There we have it. Now the Necrons get to, basically after everything's deployed, they get to use their new combat uh, protocols, so command protocols. He gets to basically layer them out over the course of the game, and they each uh, have an action, or they come into play at the beginning of the for the battle round, which is pretty cool. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Awesome. Have you done that already? Protocols are set. Okay, the protocols are set. 
Let's begin the battle. And uh, and yeah, we roll off. Oh yeah, I got a four. I got a ah scary face. Okay, so <laughs> would you like to go first or second? I will go first. Okay, he's gonna come at, and the protocol that is activated is we start with. Protocol of the Eternal Guardian. Okay, and that's normally everything could be in cover, or... Or, so... You can set to defend and overwatch and stuff better, is that right? Correct. Something like that? So which one are you going to go for? We will be going, if I do not move, I gain the benefits of light cover. Cool, so you're just going to basically... Give myself a big save. Awesome, and that's everything. <laughs> everything. Everything gets the benefits of light cover. I love it. Okay, so with that, we dive into the first turn. And they will be given, these will be given, my will be done from... from Nine inch will be done for him? Yep. Cool. So my will be done on the warriors. Now Mefred also gets extra three inches to their range. He's going to sit still and he's just going to shoot. They're 27 inches for the warriors, 33 for the immortals and the warden. He's basically just going to start shooting at the raider that is full of witches because that's what it is. They also get the extra AP at half range, which is normal. Mm -hmm. They just added a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. All right. Let's shoot these warriors. Okay. That's Uh, 12 warriors that were in range. Uh, yes. Minus one to hit, because you are shooting through said forest. I will spend one of my six command points. Seven now. Seven command points. <laughs> <laughs> so you get down to six, yeah. To remove the benefits of cover for your entire, for all of the shooting phase. It's uh, not to my save, it's just benefits of cover. Yes. Cool. So am I still hitting normals? Yeah, yeah, no, you, you hit on normals now. Right. If it says benefits of cover, then that would be the benefit of cover, like minus one to hit and stuff. If, right. it says ben- if it says benefit of cover to your armor save, then it would just be the armor save for like light cover. Perfect. Yeah, cool. So twos. <laughs> Good roll. And then, of course, fives. And fives. That is two. And, and one. Yep, five ups. And I fail both, and then six up healing pain, because it is Cabal of Blackheart. Two damage on the Raider. The Immortals. The Immortals. These need threes. Very nice, very nice. Oh, uh, fours. Your T5? No, because you're shooting through the forest, and they don't get the... Or is it my unit doesn't get the benefit? <laughs> awesome. So that is actually, for your whole army, shooting at that one unit. That's actually really strong. Okay, so uh, they all hit anyway. So these need fives. That's, uh, they strength four? They are strength five. So need fours, because oh. I'm only toughness five on a raider. Oh. Yeah. So that's two, two. at negative two. Two at negative two. Fives, one, six up film, okay. Nope, he takes one more damage. And the Relic Goss Blaster. From the Warden. Need threes. One. He does miss once. Needing fours. Strength five. Oh, it doesn't go through. Is it two damage if it goes through though? It does. Mm, very nice, okay. Do you have any more shooting? I have no more shooting. Okay, so I've taken three damage on the Raider with that. And you did start your action over here. I did. Which means they'll get one of those tallies. Because it ends at my, the end of my turn. Okay. And we'll and go on to... Drakari turn one. I go up to seven command points. Let's begin. So it's at the end of the player turn scoring for this mission, which is weird because a lot of the GT missions are <laughs> end of... Uh, or start of the command phase or whatever. So he does hold two objectives, so he does get a 10 points for holding. I did not deploy in range of that objective over there, so he also holds more than me, which means he will be getting um, an he will be getting an additional 10 points. So he has 20 points, and now moving on to um, my turn. End of the movement phase. The witches have sort of skirted up a little bit. Archon Skari and the Succubus advanced into the middle with the Incubi, just basically being like, Come at me, bro. <laughs> the uh, Ravager has moved over, of course, to get within a reroll bubble of the Archon. The Cabalite Warriors have moved up as well. And the Reaver Jet Bikes have moved up into the array area here, ready to shoot some stuffs. So with that, let's dive into the shooting phase. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to shoot is going to be the Cabalite Warriors. I've got six rifles in range of the Immortals, so they will shoot the Immortals. Right. And I have one lance in range of the reanimator. So I'm going to try and take down the reanimator. Oh, no. uh, let's shoot the reanimator. It does hit. Oh. What's your toughness? Five. Oh, is it? Well, I'll see if it matters. It, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I rolled a four. It is minus four to your save. 
I don't like her. He does have the benefit of Lycor like because oh. of his command protocols. No, does not. not okay. okay, so I will roll d6 damage. How many wounds does he have? He has not a lot. <laughs> Uh, uh, Not a lot of wounds for the reanimator, it seems. <laughs> uh, well, let's roll the damage, see what happens. The damage is four damage. He has two wounds remaining. Okay, awesome, awesome. Now, if it was lower than that, I would have re-rolled it, but four damage is decent, I'll take that. He is living metal, of course, so he could heal up. Correct? Correct. Correct. So then we do six rifles at long range, firing into said immortals. On threes, because I'm not shooting through any of the forests to hit you. And on fours, even though your toughness... Ah, sad. (laughs) (laughs) Nothing happened there. So then we have the heat lance and the two uh, rifles. The rifles are going to the immortals, and the heat lance will go into the reanimator. So heat lance into the reanimator. It hits. Toughness six, you said? Yes. So needing a four to wound you. It does. It is minus five, though. I get no save. No save against the heat lance, because heat lances are great, and it does another four damage. Oh, no. Which means the reanimator is going to go down. Does it explode? Does it blow up? No. Nope. No, it does not. Bye-bye, reanimator. <laughs> Pop! No more reanimator beam for them. So with that, let's dive into the rest of the shooting. I've got two rifles at long range into the incubi. Uh, one hit, and one two-plus save, because they are in light cover... Because he did not move. Hey. That's fine. Hey, that would have normally killed one if you didn't have your command protocols in place. So good job, command <laughs> protocols. So now we'll go into uh, the rest of the shooting. I'm going to do this. Uh, Raider is going to fire everything into these immortals. So three shots with its disintegrator cannon. And it rerolls once, thanks to Skari being within range. Thank you, my lord. Ooh. However, they are T5 now, so I only wound on fours with my disintegrated cannons. Yeah. That is a big difference. One roll to wound, which means it's minus three, so you get a five up, because you are in cover. And I do really? take one down. Okay, one of the... But now is when you roll your reanimation. Because it is one on a five up, he just comes back to life. Nope. No. Oh, okay, so he stays down. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! This is actually really interesting because it definitely means that even a little five strong unit is going to be incredibly tough to kill. And then I'm going to shoot the Ravager is going to fire everything at your Immortals as well. I have nine shots with the triple disintegrated cannons. However, he does have a battle scar. So when he sixes to hit, I have to reroll. Mm. Okay, and he is shooting through the forest, I believe, here. So right. that would be a minus one. So he's hitting on full. And that is one reroll, but I have to reroll the ones as well. Oh, okay, okay. That's a okay. Thank you, my lord. Did not give me anything. And needing fours to wound your immortals. So that would be three. Five up saves from the disintegrated cannons. One. One, and then two reanimations, because that's another unit that just shot into them. And one of them just gets back up, so one goes down. Look at that. A little five-strong unit. Have you ever seen a five-strong unit actually survive a disintegrated cannon? No, never. (laughs) Never. That doesn't happen. So then we have the Venom will also pump his shots into them as well. So 12 shots. From the Venom. Ooh. Hitting on threes, though, because he's not shooting through. Rerolling ones because thank you. Ooh, look wow. at that. Thank you, my lord. That was eight, not seven ones. I love it. I've been given the opportunity to roll better. Ooh. Woohoo, yes. And now needing fours, but these are on two plus saves, so we'll see what happens here. Thanks to his uh, his super reanimations. Okay, not bad. That's n- eight, seven. Seven saves. Oh. One goes down, and then four more here. Two go down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. And does the third one go down? Nope. Cool. But so we will take these two, two reanimations. No, they stay down. They stay down. And only one is left for now. He could use his his uh, his reso on them to re- try and reanimate them again if he wanted to. But that's a once per game thing, and it's probably wise to try and use it on a larger unit. So with that, I will take my kill. I will just take my 10 points because I just hold, uh, I don't hold more than you and I don't hold any in your zone. 
You do owe me a morale test at minus four for them, but they, they can't fail because okay. they leave you 10. And uh, because now he is, uh, he is not immune to morale anymore. He just, his warlord trait makes him not take combat attrition modifiers, which is a big deal. Oh, and they are core, right? They so are he's core. just going to help bring a guy back. He oh is. my goodness. Okay. So with that, we're going to move on to turn two. Protocol of the Vengeful Stars. Okay, so Battle Round 2, the Protocol of the Vengeful Stars, which is a shooting protocol. You can call it the shooting protocol. That's the <laughs> Mefret specific one. So he gets to, he gets both directives. Directive number one, on a six to wound with weapons, he gets an additional AP. Correct. And if he's shooting at something within half range, they do not receive the benefits of cover. Correct. Awesome. So it's going to be good at flushing people out of cover. I did come up at him, so it's great. He's now he can get close and just unload unholy gauss death on me. So this is going to be super fun. Yeah. Let's move in to the rest of the turn. And before that happens, command phase. So my technomancer will use his rights of reanimation to bring one core model back to cool. the unit. And then and I will use one command point to do it again to do with it a again. strength. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. So that's a lie. Uh, he can only pick uh, a unit to reanimate once. Uh, so he could do it to two different units, but each unit can only benefit from that once. Right. So he is going to save his command point. He goes up to seven command points as we move in to turn number two. End of the movement phase. The Necron Warriors step up through the forest. Awesome. They will be performing their action. Cool. On so the... they'll just get another action thingy. That's awesome. That so you can just do that and get experience points for them. Wah, wah, wah. Okay, so over here we've got the Immortals. They've, they're still there. Then we have the Lord. The Warden basically got within three inches of the Lich Guard. The Lich Guard have this cool rule where if they, if a character's within three inches of them, you can't shoot the characters. Basically, they're a noble. Sorry. I believe they have to be a noble. Um, However, that's even better. No sniper rifles, nothing. You have to kill the Lich Guard. So their usefulness in helping um, the character stay alive is fantastic. So with that, let's dive into the shooting phase. Ah, there's going to be lots of rapid firing happening today. I have a feeling these bikes going through these electrified areas might feel some pain as well as my Venom. Although my Venom has a sickening tendency to survive against Gauss fire. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> no, John is is <laughs> is excited about this. Okay, Let's John, begin. what have you concocted here? We are going to cash in two command points. Oh my goodness! To gracious. give them both talent, the new talent for annihilation. Very cool. And disintegration capacitors. Okay, so well, I don't know what those do, but it sounds great. Every six to hit is an automatic wound, Okay. and every six to wound is a mortal wound on top of the damage. Oh, very cool. So you're just <laughs> going to murder everything. I love it. Okay, so a mortal wound up to a max of three mortals. Correct. So Okay, very cool. It had more gravitas. It did, it did. A mortal wound for every six to wound. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> Although, he does have a minus one to hit, and not because of cover. So you take your minus one to hit. All right. So you roll with it. Okay, so you have to split up your attacks here. How many wounds do we have here? There are six wounds in total, with a feel no pain and toughness five. They each have six? No, they have... Six two wounds total each. to each, yeah. with a six up, feel no pain, and a toughness five. They're not a big unit of bikes. They're just no. the they're just the mini unit of bikes. So we'll do half and half. So twenty shots and twenty shots. Correct. Okay, fair enough. Let's do it. <clears throat> okay, so who are you shooting first? I am going to shoot the bikes. Okay, against the bikes. All right, you get no benefit to cover because no, I, it's, I I know they're they're probably very dead. This is their first, it's their first game ever. Of course, this is Garage Hammer, so if you hear any cool things or see the snowblower in the background, there you go, see snowblower. Um, <laughs> we are in Canada, after all. All right, so, choose. Yeah, that's right. Oh, my goodness. Rerolling the ones. Oh. And that cock dice. The reroll ones comes from the Veteran Warriors or all the right. Veterancy Warriors. They are hitting on threes, and then sixes proc extra hits. So that's three extra hits. There's a couple of twos there, but the threes will basically offset the twos. Oh, no. No, you no. hit on twos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so hit on twos. Because they don't have minus one hit. No, nope, the six. Okay, okay, so there you go. So three actually auto wound, and then that's awesome. And then you need fives to wound me with the rest of your stuff. Okay. However, sixes to wound will be an additional AP, 
which is really awesome as well. And Immortal on top of that. Correct. Yeah, because of your cool. Ooh, that's a good. That's a good couple of sixes right oh, there. Nice. Oh my goodness. So. Okay. 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 Lay it on me here. Lay it on me. You have. So you have four that are AP three. These will be AP three. Cool. Uh, well, you're a Mefrit, so within half range, they get an extra AP for AP two. Yeah. And, and then the that one is. Yes, so that is four AP3. Now, these are technically AP2, but you can roll to see if any of them become AP3. Even though they've already wounded, you can kind of say no. So they will be the normal AP2s. So, you have so that's five, five at AP2. Correct. Right? You also want to roll them to see if they... Um, oh, because they don't roll to wounds, so it doesn't matter there. So five at AP2, and then I took four mortal wounds on top of that. Three mortal wounds. Maximum of three. Happened. Okay, so maximum of three mortal wounds. Okay, so these are six up saves. Nope. And then I have to roll all of these feel no pains. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. Six up feel no pains? No, they just they just annihilate. Absolutely annihilate the squad of bikes. Just destroyed them. Okay. <laughs> Crimson Rush is no more. Alright. Okay, seems like the mortals are capped at three for that unit, not three at each unit you shoot at. Sure. Okay. So, Which means that he took the mortals on the bikes there. Now the venom. Okay. He's do hit on threes though, because he is a sneaky little bugger. And I will re-roll those. Mm, one auto wound though. Two auto wounds. Okay. A couple of re-rolls. Thank you, my lord. There's another one there. Oh. You, you, I believe you missed that one there. Hey. Ooh, another auto wound. Very nice. All right. And now needing fives. fives. Very cool. No mortals on these, so that doesn't actually matter. Nope. Just five to wound here. With three that automatically wounded, which is pretty cool. Those are negative three. Yeah, I have a five up in ball, so it doesn't matter. I get six on the Venom. Six on said Venom on fives because of the invulnerable save on said Venom. And he will survive, sir. He takes five. Well, from that volley. Correct. Sixes feel no pain, and he only takes four damage. He has two remaining, the Venom that could. To shoot it at the Venom from the Royal Warden to Nebrick yep. with his Relic Goss Blaster. Awesome, because it does two damage each. He wants yeah. to try and knock it out. Rapid Fire 2. Cool. Nice, very nice. Yep. And it is minus one to hit. Those are all hits. Very cool, and very cool. Strength five. I believe. So I'm oh, getting fours. Oh, please. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so. Fours to wound, because it is a Venom. Will the Warden? <gasps> what? What? So that's... crazy, crazy, Mr. Warden. Okay. <laughs> so now I need five up in barrel saves for the Venom. <sighs> He's going to take six damage. I think, I have a feeling, I have a sinking feeling that this Venom might die or he might have a miracle happen and survive. <laughs> so let's see what happens here. <sighs> no, the Venom will go down. Does the Venom explode? Oh, oh it does. It does. Okay, so Archon Scari takes a wo takes a wound. He takes a wound. The succubus takes a wound. She takes a wound. And I believe this raider is also in there. Maybe the vet, the ravager. I'll check in a second. Raider takes a wound as well. And let's just check. And of course, the ravager's nose is definitely still in. So the ravager also takes a damage. Oh no! I have five incubi in there, and one of them succumbs to the shots. Fired. So the Incubi have gotten out of their transport. Okay, so you still have two more things to shoot. The Voltaic stuff, the pistols on them, but they're short range, and the Immortals. So we will shoot with the Voltaic staff. At what? At, At what? <gasps> At the Incubi. I will! Lightning fast reflexes here, because they want a high. They want a minus one to hit. Ah, so yes. these need four. That's right. I can't have you hitting as well as normal with all your shooting. Ooh, ooh. So one hit so far, two hits. So they are strength six though, which is really cool. So we're winning on twos. Very nice. And it's minus two, so I get a five up save on my incubi. One and then two damage for the incubi. So one more incubi is destroyed. And of course, oh, the immortals. Their rapid fire goes to Yeah, the all the way, 16 and a half inches with their extra range. Very, very long rapid fire. Awesome. <laughs> Love it. They will shoot the Incubi as well. They shall indeed. Needing fours. Yes, sir. Uh, one hit. Okay. Needing a three because it is strength five. 
Nice, but it is a six as well, so that means you get an additional AP to their AP of two. AP three. Their, well, their base AP is two. Yep. So they're they're half range, so AP three plus AP, AP four. four. <laughs> so I do not get a save. I just get a feeling of pain because they only have an armor of three plus feeling of pain. You just, you just completely annihilate an incubi. Boop. Okay, okay. Good, old, good old immortal showing off their good stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness, sir. I believe that gives you 10 points. Uh, that is they're leadership be... 9, so they're good. Yep. But you killed a few things, and with that, we dive in to turn number 2 for the Drukari. Time to pounce. The Drukari have decided it is time to jump up. So Archon Skari stayed within 6-inch bubble of basically everything here. Um, Raider moved up. Succubus moved up. Ravager even moved up. Uh, the Warriors moved up. These witches got out. They moved 10 with the plus 2 inches of movement, so they were able to get around. They can shoot and, and potentially charge into the Lich Guard, although they're really tough. <laughs> um, okay, so with that, let's dive into the shooting phase. I'm excited for the shooting phase. I hope you are as well. Bring it. Okay, so let's do this. First things first, uh, this entire unit of Cavalite Warriors is just going to shoot into your Immortals. They're just going to shoot into the Immortals. You're not, you don't count as being in light cover anymore. Dude. No. That was turn one. Okay. Correct. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay, so the Phantasm Grenade Launcher is actually going to go into the Warriors just to try and lower their leadership here. So how many shots? Two. And I hit once. Does it do a damage to you? It does not. But they are minus one leadership. Okay. All right, then I've got two Blasters. And a lance at the immortals together with everything else. So they need fours for the green and threes for the red. Ooh, and uh, threes because they're T five, right? Yep. So nothing there. And then six rifle shots at long range on threes rolling ones. I was not worthy. And then fours. So three armor saves, but this time no two plus save for you. I say. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so they did nothing. <laughs> Except leadership debuff, yes. Yeah. That means Archon Scar is going to shoot his melt a pistol at you. Oh. That's right. He hits. He wounds. Uh, one re tries to reanimate on a four on a five plus. Nope. Nope. He goes down. Yes. Stay down. <laughs> <laughs> Stay down. I say. Okay. So then we're going to do this Reaper. This Reaper. This uh, disintegrated cannon firing into both of them. He also has a phantasm grenade launcher as well. So he will be firing that into there. Whoa. And I will be using the Torment Grenade Launcher on that. So that's one CP. Do I spend it? I do. So I go down to seven. And uh, how many do I shoot with? I uh, shoot with three. Do I hit? I hit with two. Does it wound? I wound with one. Doesn't do any AP. Just one save on the Immortals. Oh, oh. the Phantasm. And then I have to beat your leadership of nine because I lower your leadership. And I do... Okay. So now you take D3 mortals on top of that. Oh, no. So that's two mortals. The squad is destroyed. That's right. No reanimation when you kill them. Okay. And then the disintegrated cannon. That was just a phantasm. Disintegrated cannon just didn't do anything. Okay. Okay. So now we'll do over here. I have one grenade and then seven pistol shots. Yes. One grenade and seven pistol shots. Grenade. D6 shots for four. Uh, miss, 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 miss. <laughs> <laughs> and then threes. And fours for the pistols. Ooh, two saves. Two AP saves. On them. No AP. They're just all touching the terrain. They they get two ups with their with their shields anyway. That's a pass and a pass. So they're fine. And last but not least, I do have my Ravager. And my Ravager will shoot into. Hmm. Hmm. I'll shoot into the Lich Guard. Let's just shoot into the Lich Guard. See what we can do here. Let's got our core, which is actually really, really interesting. Amazing. They're really cool. <laughs> yeah, they get all the rerolls, all the special rules and stuff. They also, their storm shields are the new storm shields. They get a four plus involve and a two up armor save, which is awesome. All right, which is a one up armor save in cover. Ooh. Right? Which actually really helps. Not, not against minus three because you're still four ups anyway, but you know, mm -hmm. it's good against other stuff. Hitting on fours. And I have to re-roll the sixes and the ones because uh, the cracked <laughs> targeters, because he does have a battle scar. Thank you, Blade Guard. Oh, shoot. I have to... Oh, they don't have a feel no pain. So damage three and damage two. They matters. do have a feel no pain. They have a feel no pain stock? Because they're grizzled. Oh, they have... So I do have to... I do have to roll the guns separately because I have two that are... Anyway, let's just say that that was all the damage two ones. 
Sure. And then these, I'm re-rolling damage three ones. Oh. Okay, that, that, that makes me smile inside. So one damage three one. The RT5? Yep. So fours, that wounds. That's a damage three one. And then two damage two ones. So the damage three one. Is, goes, goes through. through. Okie dokie. And the damage two ones. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One goes one through. One goes through. So three damage. That's three funeral pains on one. They do have two wounds each. So he does kill one. He kills one. And, and the two damage two disintegrated damage. shot kills another. Okay, and so he... reanimation. That's right. Two reanimates, two. Oh, because you roll... There's only four wounds in the unit. So you roll for four. So he has to roll two fives to bring one Lich Guard back. And he does. And so you. one Lich Guard dies, one Lich Guard comes back. If he had a plus one, both Lich Guard would have stood back up. <laughs> Which is uh, crazy. So only one Lich Guard goes down. That I love it. I love the new reanimation. It's really, really, really neat. Okay, so with that, the Incubi will charge in. Ooh, I will overwatch you for awesome. three. And, uh, and, uh, hmm? <laughs> wait, wait, do they just always get overwatch? On a five plus as well. So it's Overwatch for free. They don't spend the CP or anything. That is correct. Okay, so I will I will charge with that then. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not with not with the Incubi with the Raider. All right. Mm-hmm. So I will roll this twice. Yep. So I'm eating fives and re-rolling the ones. That's right. Good old okay. Overwatch for free. That's a battle honor. That that's, is a yeah, battle honor. That's the that grizzled. Was... That's the grizzled battle honor. Cool headed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the one they earned last night against Primaris Rob. I love it. Nicely done. So, and then we'll roll. so six hits so far. Oh. And they do get some extra hits in there, which is nice. Because on fives is actually really, really cool. Uh-huh. Wow. Nicely done. Nicely done. We'll come back. So they're going to charge with the Lich Guard. They roll an 11. They have like a rule that's... Okay, so four go through. So four wounds, uh, five of imbles. Better than not having a save at all. Ooh. Ah, boss man. Of course, the witches charge into the lich guard over here to get first to the fray, and then we'll go into there as well. But boom. So he goes six inches, and we'll just kind of actually clip, clippity-clap, something like that. Just be within an inch there. <laughs> okay, I could just put him right there. Uh, the succubus will get in. She goes five, so she's just going to... Jump in there. Get in there, succubus. The incubi are going to jump in as well. They go a five. So they'll just go something like this over here. Just to be annoying. And Archon scarring himself right into the middle of the fray here. He just goes seven and just charge it. Now, the reason I'm trying to engage him on as wide a front as possible is to prevent him from really piling in a lot of attacks into any one of my units, which will try and keep them alive for a little bit longer. Okay, so with that, I will begin with, we'll see. I think I think we'll begin with uh, the Incubi, to be honest. Sure. Because I really like them. Uh, they're gonna spend a command point to use Onslaught. Do I spend it? I do. So every six to hit will be an additional hit. Oh, scary. Um, now I will use the... Uh, they, they still only have a four-up armor, is that correct? That is correct. So the Demiclaves and the regular. So the regular on threes, he hits all the time. And then the Demiclaves on twos, because he's a sergeant, and he got a six. So he got a six. So these need fours. Correct. So one at... Uh, one at minus three. So one goes down. That can potentially reanimate. And then he needs fives to wound you because he's the clavex. And he Ooh. does two at minus two. So he, he knocks he two out. Six up saves. Uh, minus two. They have a four up save, right? Yep. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So two go down. So, and then we'll reanimate. Yep. Do reanimations happen? Both well, go down. to re-roll the one. Oh, that's because right. Because they're warriors. They are. They're a little tougher than they used to be. Oh. So only one Necron warrior stays down. Awesome. Awesome. Very cool. Uh, and that's... Would you like to interrupt? I would like to interrupt. Very cool. Who are you interrupting with? I will interrupt with the Lich Guard. Very cool. One more to give them plus one attack. They're interrupting. He's spending an extra one to give him plus one attack. And I'm spending two to make you minus one to hit. Okay. Do I spend the two? I do. So I go down to four remaining. You go down to two remaining, but they each have four attacks now. They do. 
Ooh, with their hyperphase blades, which is pretty neat. So these need four. They do indeed. Okay, which is trying to be all dodgy like you see. There we go. Not bad, not bad. There's a few threes in there, which is what I like to see. Oh, please. They reroll ones with veterancy. And they do not. No. And then they are strength five, six. So needing twos to wound. Mm -hmm. So that is going to be seven, eight. Eight wounds. Eight saves for three. the witches. Four up in vulnerable save for witches. Because right. in combat, they just be dodgy. And I take Whoa. three. Are they one damage? Just one damage. Okay, six of feel no pains. Three of them do go down. One, two, three. But that's definitely a lot less than John would have hoped. Ha ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so with that, I'm going to go with Archon Skari next. He has four attacks, five attacks base. He charges. He has a, a battle honor for charging, gets him an extra attack, and the gin blade adds an extra two attacks to that. Oh my! So he hits on twos, re-rolling ones because he's thank you himself, and he wounds on fours, and he hates absolutely everything. So he gets to re-roll all his wounds. Oh my! And these are all AP three, so five necrons will go down. Five reanimation protocols. I love that they are like just their reanimations. So four go down. Four go down. Yeah, go Archon Scary. You know what's good for you, you see. So that is five so far that I've taken out in this battle round. Because I had taken one last Correct. battle round, I believe, with There's something. Six down to total. Okie dokie. Okay. And then la uh, then we'll do the raider. So the raider will just pile in over here like this. Yep. He gets three attacks, hitting on fours, rolling once. Mm -hmm. Nope, thank you, my lord, nothing. And nothing, because it's strength four with his blade, vein, blade veins. Ooh. And then the succubus, she has five attacks, hitting on twos, re-rolling once because of herself. And she's strength four, so needing fours. Nothing, absolutely nothing from her. Oh. And then we'll do the witches. So I have the one witch that is... Um, has the Chardonnay and Impaler. She has two damage attacks. So hits on threes, wounds on fives, nothing. And then we'll do the rest of them. We have two Hydra Gauntlets. They reroll wounds and they're minus one. So hitting on threes and wounding on fives with rerolls. Two at minus one. So three ups, because you do have a two up save, which is pretty cool. They're, they're fine. fine. That was one, two, three. So one, two, three, four left. One, two, three, and the sergeant with Ooh. four. I haven't modeled her with any weapons yet. However, she will have weapons eventually. So many attacks. Oh yeah, well, you know, you're a Necron. These, they're, they're great against other stuff. They're, they're not there to kill anything. They're there to just annoy you. Four armor saves. They do have a two up save though now with their new shields, Whoa. which is really, really cool. And they do absolutely nothing to the Necrons. So now the warriors get to swing back. Yeah. Okay, we've got a couple of attacks into the Incubi. So I'm needing twos. Because mm -hmm. of my will be done. Reroll that one. Yep. And then I reroll ones because they're veterans. Very cool. Now these need threes. threes. Yep. And they are no AP on these. No AP on so these. So four, three ups, and a feel no pain. You get one. Great. Ah, the Clavex is still alive. Three gun butts in the scary. Oh my goodness, gun butts. <laughs> no AP on these? No AP on Two these. Two of them? Two of them. He'll take him on his armor. Five up armor safe. He's okay. Feel no pain. Nope, he just takes a single wound. Definitely not going to be using that shadow field save right away here. All right. The, we'll do six on the witch or the ink. The succubus. Succubus. Yeah, okay. Very cool. Needing threes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, three. So three, no AP. Cool. Three of them, but I'll say for her, she is okay. Three up. And then <laughs> that's her warlord <laughs> trait, yeah. Considering you can have multiple warlord traits in Crusade, yes. which is awesome. So one into the raider. It hits. It does. Fives. It does not wound. Does not do nothing. Okay, All sir. Right. Okay. So now you do owe me a morale test. I they, cannot fail it. They're at five. If oh, you, I can. 
hmm? because you lowered my AP or leadership by that one. That is correct. So and if you roll equal to your leadership, the Tormentor Helm will make a model run away as well. So that's an eight. Yep, they're okay. So you hold, barely, barely hold. Barely. Okay, and that is that. So with that, we dive into my uh, my turn. They lost three, so they leadership eight. They're fine, and um, that's that. This time, though, I do hold more objectives than you because I have an objective secure unit. So I do get twenty points, Ooh. and we begin into your turn number three. And which protocol have you activated for turn three? We have decided upon. The protocol of the co- oh, hungry void. Okay, and what does that do? So we will be taking directive one. Each time a model in this unit makes a melee attack on right. the unmodified wound roll of six, the AP is increased by one. Very cool. Awesome. So now that you're stuck in melee, the protocols for close combat activate. <laughs> I love it. It's great. It's one of the coolest new rules for Necrons, in my opinion. And with that, we dive in to the next turn. And here we have it. The Necron warriors try to fall back under the guidance of the warden. However, the shard net and Impaler stop them from going anywhere. Oh. Uh, the Incubi is within scoring range there, so they cannot start the action to take the more experience points for the objectives. And uh, he did bring one Lich Guard back, brought three Warriors back <laughs> with the Crypt Tech. Oh, so good. Um, and then he just moved the plaz, the little guys, the Thralls back this way. And he gave them plus one to hit, Correct. right? And then yeah. they don't have plus one to no, hit. No, they do not. Okay, so with that, we move into the shooting phase. The Tenebric will be shooting at the Cavalites. Very cool, very cool. Needing threes. Yes, sir. Okay. Needing threes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Two. Two at negative two. Okay, so sixes. Uh, no, no sixes, just feel the pains. Oh, one and two. So two of them go down as they suffer the consequences of the Royal Warden. The They will also take some shots from... Because he has 18 inches or 21 inches with the extra range, which is awesome. He agrees. Very nice. There's a pattern going on here. It is. <laughs> These are strength six, so two. Yeah. Okay. And I need two damage each. Yep. One. And lots of two damage weapons. Two more. Go down. That's basically half the squad of warriors taking pot shots and almost dying there. All right. Okay. We'll move. I have no more shooting to do, so we'll okay. move cleanly into our charge phase. Let's do it. Vacuus is going to charge the barge. I can't. I can't do anything about it. Oh, look at that. He makes it in with Get, his war scythe. Get off of my legion. <laughs> <laughs> and the, uh, the thralls, the thralls yep. are going to charge the witches. Cool. Four inches? Yeah, they'll make it. They make it. Just right in here. Cool. They'll make it okay. Are they one wound each? They are two wounds each. Two wounds each. But they need to oh. be within three inches of Mr. Yep. Cryptic. I like Perfect. it. Awesome. All right. So Vacuous will attack with three attacks, needing two. He only has three attacks? Yes. Oh, all right. Okay. Their cool. strength, eight. Yep. Tough as five. So threes. So that's two and negative four. Don't have a, a save, though. So two damage each. Okay. So six to final face. And I take three more damage on the raider. He nice. is down two, three remaining. He's taken seven. Now the crypto thralls. Ah. There you go. And since there's a crypt tech nearby. Very cool. Hey, <laughs> they go from two attacks to six attacks each. Six attacks each. The strength five, toughness five. Correct. Oh, two power level for that. Holy moly. Okay, I will be spending uh, two command points. You're minus one to hit them as well for the whole battle round here. Do I spend the command points? I do indeed. Okay. So these need fours now. They do indeed. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Okay, okay. Not a lo- not as many. Well, I only stopped one, but that was could have been could have been terrifying. <laughs> Needing threes. threes. Okay, two. so two. That's nine, nine, the, Four ups. One. Four ups. And uh, six, I feel no pain. No, you kill one of the witches. Right. Oh, one goes down. Uh, that's right. I get to pick the first one to fight. And I will be picking my... Um, 
Yep, I'll be picking the Clavex over there. <laughs> He's going to go for his regular Clave, though, hitting on twos and wounding on fours with a minus three, just to make sure that you don't get your armor saves. One with no armor saves, so just a reanimation. Because they... Nope, I got one. Ah. Hooray! Good job. <laughs> and now you get to pick one. All right, I will take the Lich Guard. Very cool. Lich Guard. And I will pay one command point. For an extra. For the extra attack. Very cool. So you're down to two command points. I'm down to two command points. I like it. I like it. B. <sighs> Ew. Okay. And here we have it, Lich Guard. 20 attacks. Oh my threes. goodness. Hitting on threes because they got my will be done. Yeah, and they are veterans, so they reroll those. Ones. That is correct. Very cool. Couple of misses here. Couple. And then twos to wound because they are strength five plus one for their... For their sword. For their shifter, which is awesome. Come on, witches. You can hold, hopefully. Hold the line here. Couple of ones there. So that's three, six, nine, twelve. Okie dokie. 12 saves. And this is a 4 up involve. Will the witches be able to hold their ground against the Lich Guard? Okay, so I do take. Good roll. Decent roll, decent roll. Six in total. So that's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> well, let's see if any of them survive. There's no point in wasting command points here. This is their first battle. Six up your pains. And one lives. Ooh. Very nicely done. And I will keep the sergeant alive on the objective over there. Awesome. Archon Scari activates his his gin blade. Only seven attacks this time, not eight. <laughs> and uh, hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Thank you to himself. And then wounding on fours. At oh, seven. Wow. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Go, Akonskari, murdering everything. He's so mad. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even have to reroll to wound here. Okay, so just reanimations. And he's already lost one. <gasps> seven go down. Oh my goodness gracious me. Archon Scari just went absolute bonkers on this. <laughs> This unit of him of warriors. <laughs> oh. Holy moly, he's awesome. I love Scary so much. <laughs> so he's lost eight plus the couple that he had, right? I um, just lost seven, so I am down. All right. The okay, so the warriors now get the swing. I will take these three on the playbacks. Okay. Okay. Threes this time, because they are not will be done. And then threes. Correct. But sixes are... No, not just, just one, one armor save. Nope. Feel no pain. Nope. He takes a wound. Good thing Clavexes have two wounds. Oh, my. Woohoo! Three on Scary. Oh, my goodness. Scary's like... <laughs> <laughs> he does love it. So that's oh. one. Cool. And that was AP1, though, because that was a six. Correct. So uh, six up in save on him. And a feel no pain. He takes one more. He's definitely not going to be using his shadow field yet because there's no point in losing it to a puny little attack like that. <laughs> and we'll take three, three on the succubus. Okay, fair enough. I love it. Oh, only one hit this time with a wound. Three up involved for her. She's Ooh. okay. All right, so then my attack's back. I will attack with the raider. It does get D3 attacks this time. One attack. It missed. And then you get to pick one, but you've already gone with everything. So my succubus will swing at your Necron Warriors. Twos, we're rolling ones. <sighs> Nicely rolled. And then fours, because she is strength four. One at minus one. Five. Hey. Okie dokie. And then I have the one sergeant over here. Four attacks for the sergeant. No rerolls. And no saves there. And I believe that is that. My good man. I'll be, uh, so morale test. Okay. Um, I'll be spending the two command points to keep her around. I so spending, that's a once per game. I will also spend the two command points to keep the warriors. Okay, okay, very cool. Do I spend the command points? I do indeed. And you have, once per game, kept them from running as they took a crazy amount of casualties. So with that, you do get five points because you do hold an objective. And that is what you get for the primaries as we move. Oh, I do owe you morale over here, by the way. They lost four and leadership. So they go nine. So they are going to run. 
So that's one runs, and then there are five left in the unit. So no combat attrition tests failed. So one of them will run away as they took a absolute pounding from getting shot at. End of the movement phase. I did move the raider back after the, the, the witch basically fell back and just got into the transports. She got out, they got out, I'm out of sight of three inches so he can't heroically intervene. These cavalry warriors have moved up, only five because it's a forest, but they are within range of said lich guard as well as the ravager, moved up this way just to stay within six inches of Skari, like that, and essentially give myself as many options as I can to deal with these uh, Necron warriors. So with that, let's do the shooting phase. Archon Skari has a blast pistol. He's going to shoot the warriors. He hits, and one has to try and reanimate over here. Yep. Very cool. Okay, then we've got this unit here. I've just got two lances, uh, a lance and two uh, blasters into these guys over here. Rerolling once. Um, and I, yeah, no, that's minus one, so nothing. And then over here, he's going to shoot everything into the crypto thralls. One, thralls. two, three. Oh, ho, ho. Cool. There are two dam. There are two wounds each. Yes. And they don't have a feel no pain. No. Okay. Very cool. So into the thralls. No sixes there, and that one doesn't count because he's touching it. So on fours. So that'd be two at minus three. Okay. They get a six up there. Do they have an invo? They don't. Okay. So two of them go down. Two of them okay. reanimate. Uh, they're dead. They're just they just die. They're two wounds each, right? Right. So. Now reanimation. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they, the unit just died, so they don't get to reanimate. Oh, but black, go Ravager. Good job. Darkness. The Ravager. Darkness. I don't want a guy with like a bazillion attacks. That Those guys are, those guys are scary. They're crazy. <laughs> All right, so with that, um, uh, shoot, I forgot. There are two rifles over here in their, their okay. Phantasm. All right. And then after they're fired, of course, they fire and fade, get within range of that objective to steal it away. So this time, the Necron Warriors get to fight first. Yes. Yes, they do. I will take it, well, three on. Yep, Clavex. on the Clavex again. Nothing crazy there. So yes. one save. Okay, yes. one save on the Crypt uh, Clavex is fine with a five. Ooh. Three into Archon Scar. Oh, very nice. They do reroll ones, of course, because they are veterans of many wars. One on Archon Skari. Um, he'll just take it on his regular arm, sir. And a feel of pain. He's okay. I love it. And three on the witches. <laughs> uh, the succubus, yep. Succubus. And three is to wounds. Two on the succubus. And she takes one. Feel no pain. No, she does take a wound going down to two. Sorry, she has now taken two. She sees it three remaining. Okay, so the first I will start will be with the Clavix. Might as well. Actually, no, I won't start with the Clavix. I'll start with the Succubus. Because uh, she has the least likelihood of killing models. Okay. Clav uh, she goes first, rerolling ones. Thank you to herself. As I say, training in the gladiatorial arenas. So four at minus one. Okay. Oh so five ups here. Ooh, Nothing. four of them. And uh, reanimate. They do proc the reanimation. Very, very nice. So one only goes down as three of them decide to reanimate. Technically, you remove them, then you reanimate, then you bring them back. So you could kind of do some cool shenanigans, like pulling models from one area and bringing them back over here, here and stuff like that. And then they reanimate over. Very here. cool. So good thing he's within an inch there. He'll just pile in like this. Yep. Boop. Awesome. So I will do the Clavex next, but that's, see, it's cool. You can kind of pull them and do that and kind of pull them back and forth. Oh. That's a really cool little tricksy trick. Uh, the Clavex will go with his attacks, hits on twos, Ooh. wounds on fours with a minus three. They reroll ones. Or uh, they do, they do actually. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Hit and cocked wounds. So three at minus, um, three minus three. So just reanimates. Okay. So one reanimates. Two reanimate. That's right. Sorry. Two reanimate, but one and dies. One flat out dies. Very cool. And then Archon Skari will follow the uh, <laughs> follow the competition over here. So how many have I killed so far this this phase? This phase you've killed two. Two are dead. Two, so there should be seven? Yep. Okay. Okay, Archon Skari, seven attacks. Can oh. you do what you did last time again? 
That would be amazing. That would be amazing if he does. Okay, well, thank you to himself. He hits all the time. So there is a possibility for him to wipe out a whole Necron Warrior Squad. Go, Skari and Huskblade. Oh, oh, only one. Only one. But he hates everything. He oh, hates he absolutely hates. everything. <laughs> Does he do it? No, he doesn't. Only two two will have to try and reanimate here. <laughs> and one does. Okay, so he does kill two technically, Gar. and then one technically reanimates. So one, he'll take two. Two. Cool. And then and one, then one will, will reanimate. Kabloop. You can't put them within an inch of something that's not in combat. And then uh, that's that. So they're within an inch here. He will pile in to just pile in and continue within three there. Go away. <laughs> Because <laughs> he just wants to stay, stay friends. Um, however, you did lose three in total. Three. Your leadership is ten, so you cannot oh. fail on a one. I believe they auto. Uh -oh. They auto pass. No, you auto pass on a one. Oh right. I yeah, yeah. That's yeah. auto. Do you just everybody just auto passes on a one? Uh, there's no auto fail. It's just you auto pass. Oh yay. Yeah. Okay. So they're fine. But of course you've got your resorb, which means you're going to be able to roll on fours for everything that comes back because of the resorb. That is true. Ah, oh, so they're a lot tougher to kill. However, I do at the end of the turn get thirty more points because I have. So I've almost maxed out my primary as move on to turn four for the Necrons. Mm -hmm. So what uh, protocol has been enacted? Protocol of the Undying Legion. Very cool. That's the reanimation protocol. Correct. So every time yep. you have to take a reanimation, you can reroll one of the dice. Correct. Which is awesome. So we'll do the Technomancer first. He's going to bring back one. One Necron Warrior. It's going to come back to life. Bloop, bloop. There and you then go. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 13. 13. So I will use my the Resorb. Of Eternity. Yeah, once per game, and it goes off on fours. And of course, Warriors can reroll ones because they are pretty snazzy. Look at that. Look at how many come back. Absolutely amazing. Good job. So that's like eight or nine that came back. That is nine that came back. Nine that come back. Okay, so almost the entire squad comes back to life. As they just <laughs> come up from the dead. And this is like a, a scene from Dawn of War where he hits the ground with his res orb, it goes green, and they all just go, <laughs> and they stand back up. No! <laughs> I've tried so hard to keep them down. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. So with that, let's move on to the fourth turn. And uh, he can reroll one of the reanimations, so actually ten come back, because he he has the, the undying. He can't be within an inch there. Nope, 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 he has to nope. be back that way. Yeah, or in combat with me. Mwah, 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 mwah. Oh, and on a uh, and then Archon Scar's Gin Blade is fine. He keeps it under control because I forgot to roll. Okay, okay, okay. So there's still a whole bunch of warriors. I would have totally tabled you by now, but that's not a thing now. Oh, yeah? Apparently. This so is keep note, Necron players. <laughs> Um, We're in the middle of the movement phase. My net stopped them from falling back again. Um, <laughs> the Lich Guard basically moved up. They're going to do the action that. Uh, he's debating whether or not he wants to pull them out with the veil. Remember, though, he can't come within 12 inches, which means pretty much the whole table is blocked off, except for like this little block back here, I'm pretty sure. And then even then, it'd be, it'd be way back here. So he could do that, except, uh, yeah, it's the actual bad stuff is coming into into actually be kind of annoying in this game oh, <laughs> for the Necrons. So we'll be back as he decides what to do. All right. So he's uh, battening down the hatches and getting the warriors to fight in close combat, which is kind of what he does. The Overlord has moved around this way, and the Warden has also moved up that way. But the Cryptek has instead moved this way to shoot at... The beast! Oh, take it! The beast, here we go! <laughs> okay, so you want to kill the beast, I, I see. I do. Will that be on a... No. Uh, no, no, that is your... Not minus one, it's just... Your... Because I... You can get to every part of my base without going through any of the forests, so you're good. He is toughest three. So two. 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 He does have a five up. Uh, yeah! <gasps> he takes two damage. Six up, feel no pain. He takes one damage, and the beast is alive. <laughs> the warden is going to shoot at the Clavex. He's like, I see you there. 
So, that's right. Oh. Who are you? Um, who are you? Uh, my will be dunning, by the way. The, the warriors. warriors. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that does make sense. Oh uh, my goodness! Just one. minus two. Minus two. Is oh, that minus, minus three. three? Okay, three. so I got a six up. Uh, come on, little buddy. No, two damage. Two damage. Come on, double sixes. No, you got him. Ah, oh, the incubi has fallen, taking the wrath of the warden. Ah, oh, the charges. It's that charge. So, Vecuous is going to charge into Scary. Okay, bring it on. Bring right. it on. He does make it. Up, 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 up. He's coming around. Coming around to fight me. Oh, you're coming around to fight me. You want to fight me, do you? I have the higher mm. ground. Oh, you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, yet I'm almost just as tall. Just look at my pointy hat. <laughs> I care not of your hatty fanatic. Oh, you don't, eh? I will. I'm going to punch him. Okay. I'm going to punch him good. He's going to punch Archon Scary. On twos. Ah. Oh. Mmm, on twos and with his, twos. Vo is it a void blade? Is that what it is? It is a war side. Oh, it's a regular war side. Very strong. Okay, he will activate his shadow field, arrogantly saying, ha ha! Oh. <laughs> Rats! <laughs> oh my! Why? Why would he do such a thing? Cut so, him down. He takes four damage, come on, bunch of sixes. Power from pain! No, Archon Scary could not withstand the onslaught today. Ah, the war side cutting him down, Cut as it down. happens ever so often. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay then, fair enough. <laughs> okay, so the succubus, seeing that Archon Scary has fallen, will attack next. Well, then again, she probably orchestrated the whole thing. She is a one tricksy succubus, isn't she? <laughs> Needing fours to wound you. That would be three at minus one. Three at minus one. Yeah, there Five you bucks. go. Good job. Two, so two reanimations. Two, two are very going nice, down very nice. They, back they, to just, life. they don't care. So you kill these two. Yep. Who show up over here? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love it. I love it. That's good. That's good. You can't be within oh. an inch of him, but you can always pile into yeah. him if you want. Okay, with that, the Necrons will activate. Eleven Necrons fighting the Succubus, and three Necrons fighting the Raider as so, well. Here's some Raider punches. Ah, raider punches. They all hit. And two of them wound. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, what's your? Um, oh yeah, your no AP. On it's your reanimation one. To the yes. Yeah. Okay. Fours and six. I feel no pain for the raider. No, takes another damage. He has only two remaining. <laughs> and then into the succubus. Hitting on twos, rolling ones, thanks to their veterancy upgrade. Okay. Let's. Because they are veterans. They are veterans. Mm, they hit all the time. Now wounding on threes. Very nice, very nice. Two so far. So two miss. That's nine saves. For the succubus, will she dodge out of the way of the implacable... Eight. Eight? Eight wounds. I thought you had 11 attacks. I did. And there were three, oh, three that failed, or four that failed, sorry. So eight, needing threes. There must have been one behind the forest there. She will take three, which will kill her unless she passes a feel no pain. Power from pain. She's oh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Now the raider gets the swing. One attack, hitting on fours, wounding on fours. One at minus one on the Necron Warrior over here. Ew. And a reanimation, which can be re-rolled. He's oh. fine. He doesn't care. He's like, Bloop. I'm just going to go and be annoying. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So with that, we dive into my fourth turn. But you get uh, five Ten. points. Ten points for holding that. Ten points, sorry, ten points, because it is ten. Okay, and now I go into my fourth turn. Let's do this. 
And here we have it, the movement. So she can't get out because he did actually intend to pile in. I was like, are you sure she could have just moved that way? So yes, she's trapped in combat. Makes sense. Uh, over here, uh, the witch got out and is now within three inches of the objective to take that objective away from the lich guard. Uh, the ravager has stayed to hold that objective as well as the beast has just moved away and stopped holding that objective so it can't be used against us as well as just hiding behind the forest over there. And then the raider moved back and the cavalry has moved in. They can't really shoot because they're affected by the raider, basically. So the raider fell back, that, therefore the unit inside cannot shoot. Um, but I'm just going to do the ravager firing into uh, the lich guard, which is the only target that he has. However, I'm going to remember to shoot them separately this time. With He has two master crafted weapons, basically, that do three damage each. Mm. So hitting on fours... And I have to re-roll the sixes because of the cracked <laughs> targeters. There you go. Oh, and that's a miss because I'm shooting into a forest. So the big three, nope. And then the two wounds each, two. So two invulnerable saves, two wounds a pop. Ooh, they both go through. They both go through, okay. So that's two reanimation. Uh, no, no. Uh, Fiona paints first. Oh, right. So for sixes. the first, for the first one... You roll them separately, because if he passes one, then he soaks up the other two damage, right? Well, it's two damage each. So, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. So, one guy. Yeah. Yeah, and then the second guy. Okay, yep. so I do get two, so now you roll your reanimations. You get to roll one of the dice, though, because of your reanimation things. Ooh, so he might bring one back. He doesn't. Oh. So two of them go down from the uh, Ravager, which does mean that he'll only be able to bring one back. Okay, it's not bad. Uh, the witch is going to lob a grenade at you, and he hit, she hits three, well, she gets three shots, two hits, and nothing, because they are toughness five. Okay, so with that, combats, the Necron Warriors get to fight me first. Okay. Okay, so that's a little bit more attacks than there were last time. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, e no, eight nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen attacks this time. Okie dokie. Will she survive? Maybe two. Two of the rolling ones because of uh, the super, super rolls of doom. The Necromores wanted to kill the succubus all the time they hit and then wounding on threes. Will she survive the onslaught here? How many have you given her this time? So ten. Ten in total. Okay. Hmm. Ten three up invulnerable saves. Will she quickly dodge around you and survive? Okay, these two are definitely cocked. Okay, so she will take two. So this is the only way that she can survive potentially is I'm going to spend my one command point to re-roll one of these. And then I need two sixes to keep her alive. No, see, oh. I needed to that the other way. The save <laughs> and then the six. It was almost poetic. Almost. But my survivor has gone down. And with that, she will go. But I will get max primary points. 90 point total with that. And with the consolidation there, we go into the last and final turn five. Turn five. And yes. which... Program has gone off. The protocol of the conquering tyrant. Very cool. Um, directive one. So I add three inches to all of my characters' auras. Very cool. Okay, yeah. so all the auras are super expanded right now. So that's a 12 inch. Very nice. Is it to a max of nine? Or is it to a max of 12? 12? Okay, perfect. To a maximum of 12, so he can bring D3 warriors back if yes. he wants to, or bring one of these, or use the CP to do D3 and 1, because they are also core as well. We're going to do that. Very cool. Use my command point for the turn. I like it. D3 here. Into the warriors to come back. It's back up to 19 strong. (laughs) You know how tough it's been to try and kill this unit of warriors? Incredibly tough. Much tougher than it has in the past. And you've borne witness to how that has happened in the past as well. (laughs) So, into the movement phase. After the movement, the warriors have just moved up to take objective number three. Makes sense. Then we had the Lich Guard basically stay there, going to kill the witch. And then he advanced to take objective number three, and he has an assault gun, so he can potentially shoot into 
The beast. The beast. We're going to start by shooting the beast. Oh, there we go. Hitting on fours now. Hitting on fours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. One hit. Wounding on threes. No, wounding on twos because <laughs> he is toughness three. <gasps> the beast. I will use uh. command point to <laughs> re-roll it. Okay, just... And this reroll was a wound. I get a five plus invulnerable save. Go, oh, beast! No. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the blob! That's 19 warriors. All right. Shooting where? Into the raider. Just just shooting into the raider? That's it. Oh, okay. There's two wounds on this raider. There's. Oh! So. Two wounds on that raider. Yeah, just two. We're still gonna shoot everything into it. <laughs> Sure. Okay. <laughs> so this is. Uh, you do. Uh, you are touching it, so you don't suffer the minus one. Right. Let's count to eighteen and throw it twice. Cool. Okay. All right. Okay. This is nineteen shot firing twice, but we'll just do nineteen first. Two. Uh, to hit and then to wound. And then it'll be five to wound. Correct. We'll just do this one volley first, but he just wants to make sure that he kills this raider. Like, he just wants to make sure it's dead dead. Super dead. Super dead. How many did you get in there? That's gonna Four, be... Four, five? Five? Five. And five up saves. And negative two. Invulnerable saves. Oh! And I take two. Will it survive? No, it dies. Does it explode? It does not. And I have five models inside. And they are all okay. The warden is going to shoot. The warden will now shoot as well. And they're in rapid fire range. Yep, four shots into the warriors. At negative one because I love they're it. in the cover. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So easy fours. Correct. Nothing. Ha-ha! <laughs> the forest has eluded you. All right. And charge phase. Very cool. The warriors are going to charge your... The Ravager. The Ravager. Very nice. And hey, look! They make it in. Good job. And just for convenience' sake, the witch guard are going to charge the witch. Very cool. Awesome. They make it into the <laughs> witch. <laughs> All right. Oh, the lich guard smack in the single witch. Nine attacks now. Oh no! Uh, Twelve, Twelve attacks. attacks. Hitting on threes, wounding on twos. Will she survive? There is a potential that she will. Oh, they also reroll once. <laughs> they also reroll once. Which is something I have to remember my incubi do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The X cubi. The, oh, I see <laughs> oh. what you did there. So that's Nine. Cool. Nine four ups. Yeah. Okay. Witch, let's see what you can do here. And, well, she passed oh. six of them. Trip sixes for the win. Oh, uh. no. She does go down, but it's crazy how an invulnerable save... The less you roll saves can be can be such a difference. She's dead. You killed her. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> ah, well, I'll get her. I'm gonna wound. Eleven attacks from the Necron Warriors attacking my Ravager. Out of revenge, you see. Twos. Twos to hit. Okay, rerolls. Awesome, oh. awesome. All right, now all ten of these are going to wound and add an extra one. And fives. <laughs> Three. Four. Four. Four, no AP. No AP. So four. And then feel no pain. I take one wound on darkness, and darkness will attack you back. Oh. Hitting on fours. Two hits, and wounding on fours. One at minus one. Oh, yeah. Hey. <sighs> He's okay. Oh. And that is Necron turn numero five. Okay, so at the end, he does get 30 points because he took an object away from me and he holds more than me. So that brings his total up to 80 primary points to my 90 primary points. And it is now my turn five. I get the last say. Okay, so what they do, the beast, after miraculously surviving the shooting, just moves up, contests that objective to deny the Necrons 10 victory points. Ooh. Which means I will be victorious, no matter what happens. <laughs> <laughs> However, the Necron Overlord finds himself exposed in the middle of the battlefield. 
with no bodyguards around him and no units around him. And I have four melter guns. It is a test of strength. Oh! <laughs> the Ravager did fly away. But let's see if Vacuous can survive a blast pistol and a f- three other blast weapons. <laughs> oh my goodness. I am so excited about trying this. This sure. is going to be... Super, super excellent. Show me what you got, little one. Show me what you got. For all you Rick and Morty fans out there. Okay, give a like for the blasters. Okay, I need fours on the red because it's a dark lance and it moved. Everybody else. Oh, and I have a rifle. <gasps> I forgot him. I forgot him. There he goes. The <laughs> rifle will shoot as well. Okay, threes and fours. Ooh. Yeah. Toughness five? Yes. Oh, baby. DD fours. No. Threes. Threes, threes, threes. Ah, three invulnerable saves, my good man. All right. Three invulnerable saves. Drum roll, please. He takes zero. No! <laughs> he has a four of invul. Oh, he's like puny elves. Yeah, and then yeah. the rifle, which doesn't actually matter. Two saves from the rifle. <laughs> if he fails these, I'm going to be so sad. Oh. He passed both of them just to just to add insult injury. Yeah, he passed both of them. <laughs> well, nah, I tried. However, with all my characters dead, I do leave the battle victorious. Oh. Achieving my objectives, even though this is definitely a turn of events. I've killed like two units <laughs> this whole game. <laughs> Very different. I love the new Necron rules. We'll come back with the after action report. But John, what did you like? What did you think of the game? They are so amazing. The GW gods have been kind with the with the new codex. It is such a tactical game. It is such a it's a infinitely better and healthier and wonderful. I look forward to future games. This is going to be brutal. The crusade continues. And here we have the Necron army. Okay, John, let's go over the post-game action. Well, we'll go through the post-living guys first. Okay. (laughs) So the phalanx, the immortals. They did die, so... They are fine. Good. The swarm, the crypto thralls. Okay, I did shoot them good. Ooh, Ooh, good. Almost, almost. And the strider, the reanimator. Uh, <sighs> He's fine. Okay, so they are okay. All right. So we have calculated all the experience points. We picked the battle honors for the units. Yes. So, John, please tell me what so, happened. How has your crusade improved? Uh, uh, so, Vacuous has received a Necron Archaeotech. He is receiving the Hyroptic Staff. Now this is from Beyond the Veil. It is. He, people within ge- engagement range of him are now negative one attack. And then at the end of the next battle, you can try and unlock the power of the relic. Of course, you're a Necron, so you uh, unlock it on a four, two. on a two plus. And if you unlock it, then... Then it is negative one attack within six inches. Oh, so good. So, so, so good. So darn good. And the infinite guard living up to their infinite name have leveled up thanks to their survivor holding plus their one investigation. And they are receiving the new battle trait from the Necron Codex, Undying Revenants. They can change one dice roll on every reanimation roll to a six. There you go. So even more undying. Even more undying. Even more undying. So there you have it, folks. The Necrons continue to rise. So what is the total power, uh, crusade power of your force as it stands right now? A lot. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) uh, We are currently sitting at 12. 12 power for your crusade, which is is how many how many uh, power level is your crusade at right now? I have a, su- a supply used of 68. Okay, so 68. This is only 45 of the 68 mm-hmm. up to 12. Now, let's take a look at the Drukari. Archon Skari has once again run into real space and has done quite a bit of damage to his own Kabama. <laughs> <laughs> so I did lose quite a few units, uh, but I did survive a few units this time. The Beast, Fisk survived, Darkness survived, and the Kabalite Warriors survived. So we have to roll for uh, basically 
damage. Ooh, almost. Almost. <laughs> he felt that void blade. She's okay. The, the witches as well. Oh. And then over here, them, <laughs> themselves, they're fine. And the incubi are fine as well. So these witches are uh, going to potentially take a battle uh, battle scar. You know what? They'll take a battle scar. I'm gonna probably. I'm gonna take one of the ones from beyond the veil, and I'll come back with. We've already kind of counted up some experience here with what they get. And here we have it, folks. So things that got uh, upgrades, experience, all that stuff. So I'm only gonna go over the things that matter. The incubi leveled up. Oh yes. So I decided to give the clavex. Plus one strength to his demiclave. So you can swing it together as strength five or a strength four with six attacks, which brings him in line with the rest. So I'm really excited about him. Um, the witches, they did take a, um, a battle scar. However, I took one from the, uh, beyond the veil, which allows them to basically, they're a nerve. So every time they take a morale test, they go to, they have to roll a six. So they're probably going to fail morale a lot because they're unnerved. But if something deep strikes within 12 of them, they get a D6 inch move, which is kind of cool. <laughs> and then I picked them for the battle trait for the battle because they did so well taking their objective away from the Lich Guard twice and just l helping me win the game. So they got the battle on a fleet of foot. So they're plus one to move, advance and charge with their combat drug of plus two inches to move. <gasps> so they move 11 with a D6 plus one advance and they can charge with a plus one and they can charge after they advanced. So they are super fast. Spicy. Super, super fast. <laughs> uh, so that, that one got experience. That one got nothing crazy there. They got experience. They got a point each. Nothing crazy. They didn't level up. And then the beast actually leveled up today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I have given him flesh bane. So his Strength four claws are now two damage. Oh my god. <laughs> and that is mine. So I've gone up a couple of power level. I think I'm up to like eight or, or ten or something. So I'll check it in a second. And more bonuses for you. So my thing is now at eleven. Yes. Eleven. Okay. So that means and I have sixty power level used and I get my requisition point back up because I spent I spent one to give her her warlord trait. So I went down to three before the game started, and then I go back up to four at the end of the game here. And I also get one investigation point as well. And let's say I get uh, extra for winning. I don't think so. I think it's just one every time you play. Yes. So I have two investigation points, which I can use for beyond the veil stuff, which is really cool as the time comes. Hmm. And that's that. Thanks a lot for watching. A huge shout out to Brinjar. One of the channel Patreons, him, like many others all around the world, support the channel on Patreon to help me create content. So make sure you check out the link down below. I really appreciate all the support. We do a live Twitch stream most of the days of the week, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Link to Twitch down below as well. John, thanks for coming by for the game. Thank you so much for having me. And you've got Necron Fever. Oh, it's not going away. I'm burning up. So let's see what happens next time when the Overlord comes to fight Archon Scari once again. And that's that. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. You're all awesome. I'm Scari, your grateful host. Signing off until next time. Scari out. And I say, ah, the Darkkin. Bye.